As a woman, events like this always make me a little agitated. Plentiful are the abusive stories I hear in the news between lovers, but when it involves the chief of police paired with rape, payoffs, bribes, it hits differently. David Braham, 44 years old, killed his wife, Crystal, 35, in front of their two kids, then killed himself. This happened at a Gig Harbor shopping mall parking lot. It was tragic. It was horrifying. It was Tacoma. He was the chief of police of Tacoma, Washington's biggest little city. Who murdered his wife? His wife, Crystal, feared for her life and with reason. He took it from her after a long, brutal relationship of control, belittling, violence, a gorgeous mother who had nowhere to turn because the police were all in the family. This guy was nuts. No privacy. He logged her weight. He checked her odometer. He would sit and watch her go to the bathroom. He always screamed at her, telling her she was fat, ugly. He would punch her in the gut and choke her. And he had a fetish in his sex life. And she had no choice but to be part of it. So I'm parked where she was parked. Let's get out and go see. Okay guys, here we are at the scene of the crime at what I believe is right about where she parked her car. It was a Saturday. David drove Haley 8 and David Jr. 5 to this shopping mall to run an errand. He had been livid about the divorce papers Crystal had filed. Unfortunately for Crystal, she was also at the same mall. When David saw her at the parking lot, he told the children to stay in the car, and he approached Crystal. Crystal got out of the car, David got into the front seat, he pulled her back in, onto his lap, and shot her in the head. Then he shot himself. The children heard it, and then they saw it. Hours later, David died at the hospital, and clinging to life, Crystal died three days later. This had all been a built-up disaster waiting to happen. Look how nice and clean these are. And here he is. David Allen Brame. <laughs> Murderer. Rapist. Criminal. I'm sorry he killed you. I'm sorry he ended your beautiful life that you had with your children. 
I'm sorry your children grew up without you and your parents and your friends. I'm sorry you didn't get to have the life and the dreams that you wanted. And I'm sorry the police failed you and the government officials failed you that you really were trapped. know your story is being told. Everybody hears you now. <laughs> 